What's the most common type of driver you'll see behind the wheel of a 2018 Audi A8? Keen driver? Boy racer? School run dad? Answer, none of the above. In fact, you're most likely to see a professional driver behind the wheel of Audi's most stately of automotive carriages, a chauffeur ferrying celebrities from party to party, or transferring their kids from the 20-bedroom family home to prep school and back. That's why cars such as the A8 tend to be big, luxurious and packed with toys, from screens and detachable tablets in the rear to individually controllable air conditioning and seats that administer reviving massages. But the big luxury car manufacturers are also increasingly using their top-end luxury limousines to showcase the latest advances in technology, the Volvo XC90. BMW 7 Series and Mercedes S-Class are all packed to the gunnels with it, and 2018's Audi A8 looks to be the most advanced yet. Audi A8 Review, in the front. This is a car that's bristling with so much technology, from its 40-plus driver assistance aids to the TV screens at the back, that it's hard to know where to start with a review like this. I've only had a few hours with the Audi A8 and it feels as if I've hardly scratched the surface. My first impression, though, are pretty darn positive. It hits you as soon as you slide into one of the car's ever so supportive, supportive seats. There are screens absolutely everywhere inside the Audi A8. There are three at the front, one for the digital dashboard, one for the main infotainment system, a nav and settings panel in the center, and another just below that for the car's climate control system. And one more thing, the car's climate control touchscreen also doubles up as a touchpad for the car's incredibly clever handwriting recognition system. It's worth pointing out at this point that, as Audi moves to touchscreens at last, most of its previous cars have eschewed the technology in favor of seven-way control dials and touchpads for handwriting recognition, it has removed most of its previously physical control architecture. Unlike the Mercedes E-Class, which is doggedly hanging onto its awkward dial and weird touchpad interface, audio has eradicated most of its physical controls. Only the volume, mute knob, the steering wheel buttons and stocks have survived the purge. But the A8 doesn't abandon tactile feedback entirely, far from it. In fact, the center screens in the A8, unlike the touch screens in many rivals, give you a choice of audible or haptic feedback modes, with a light click or buzz indicating if you've pressed a button or changed a setting. And the handwriting recognition is a true revelation, too. It'll be slightly less easy to use for the majority in the right-hand drive UK car when it arrives in the UK next year, but if you form your characters clearly enough, the panel will recognize text quickly and efficiently. It'll even do joined up writing, 